Hello and welcome to How to Play Horde the Hams. The game is played with three to six players. To play, you will need the Horde the Hams game. Thanks to Wombo Combo Games for providing the game used in this tutorial. Each player is dealt seven cards, one card at a time. The remaining deck is placed into the middle as a draw deck. The object of the game is to hoard hams. A pile of ham cards is kept face down in front of each player. The pile is known as the player's hoard. A player can hoard hams in four different ways. You can hoard a single ham. You can hoard a match, which is two or more hams of the same color. You can hoard a run, which is one blue, one green, and one orange ham. Or you can hoard a ham sandwich, which is two matching hams with a different ham in the middle. There are four types of hams, blue, green, orange, and trap. Each of these ham cards counts as one point when hoarded, but the trap hams have special abilities that will be explained later in this video. Going back to the hands that were dealt earlier, I have flipped up each player's cards for you to see. In an actual game, you will keep your cards hidden from the other players. Each player will get to make a hoarding action from their starting hand to establish their hoard. Sean hoards a blue match. After hoarding, a player will draw cards to get their hand back to seven cards. Juliet has trap hams in her hand. A trap ham card can be added on top of a match, run, or ham sandwich when hoarding. Juliet will hoard a ham sandwich with a trap ham on top. Juliet draws cards. Gus also hoards a ham sandwich with a trap ham on top. Gus draws cards. Carlton hoards a blue match with a trap ham on top. Carlton draws cards. Once each player has established their initial hoard pile, the turn-taking gameplay begins. On a player's turn, they can hoard more hams or play an action card. There are four different steal action cards. These cards are played to steal cards from another player's hoard. There are four different self-help action cards. These cards are played to help the player in some aspect. There are three different hand action cards. These cards are played to steal cards or negatively affect other players' hands. There are two reaction cards. These cards are played to stop another card's action. Going back to the gameplay, Sean takes the first turn and chooses to play an action card. Sean plays the self-help action card Gremlins. This allows him to flip up five cards from the draw deck and hoard all the hams revealed. The non-ham cards are placed on the bottom of the draw deck. A turn ends with a player getting back to seven cards in their hand. Sean draws a card and play moves left to Juliet. She plays the self-help action card Double Dip. This allows her to draw a card and take two other actions. The first action she takes is to play the Pyromaniac Steal action card. This card allows Juliet to choose two players who will move the top card of their hoard piles to the bottom of their piles. Then, Juliet gets to steal the top two cards from each player's hoard. Juliet's second action is to hoard a ham to her hoard pile. Juliet then draws cards to get back to seven cards in hand. Play moves left to Gus. Gus plays the steal action card, Punch. This allows him to steal the top three cards of another player's hoard. Gus goes to steal from Juliet's hoard, but the ham flipped up is a trap ham. There are four different trap hams, and when flipped up during a steal attempt, they are triggered. All trap hams stop the steal action from happening meaning no hams are taken by the player of the steal action card. The effect of the trap ham is taken. Any normal hams are returned to the hoard and the trap ham is returned to the bottom of the hoard. Gus will draw to end his turn and play moves left to Carlton. Play continues with players taking turns. Once the last card is drawn from the draw deck, play continues until all cards have been played. Once the last card has been played, the game is over. Each player will count the number of hams in their hoard. The player with the most thick hams in their hoard 
will get a bonus 6 points added to their score. The player with the most points wins the game. If a player has more than 7 cards in their hand at the end of their turn, they can hoard single hams until they have 7 cards in hand. If a player has more than 7 cards in hand and cannot hoard any hams, the player must discard action cards until they have 7 cards in hand. Matching trap hams can be hoarded together. A death card played against a player causes that player to discard their entire hand and draw a new hand. But a player can defend against a death card by placing their own death card. This action causes the original player of the death card to have to discard their entire hand and draw a new hand. If two or more players tie for the most thick hams hoarded at the end of the game, no player receives the 6 point bonus. That wraps up how to play Hoard the Hams. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and find more game tutorials by subscribing to the channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.